Good morning. Good morning. It's an honor and exciting to speak before you this morning. Um, I'm a little emotional. That was my sister. <laughs> um, I'm here to speak to you about my experience with pa patient navigation as well as it relates to my cancer diagnosis and treatment last year. But before I do that, a little bit about uh, my family history and cancer. My mother in the blue, we lost her to cancer in 2005. We were surrounding her, holding her hand when she left. And in 2013, her brother, my uncle, this gentleman here, he was known as Dark Gable. Uh, we lost him. And then in 2013, my niece, Aaliyah, she died seven days after her 20th birthday. So cancer had reared its little ugly head in my family. However, uh, I'm afraid none of that prepared me to hear the words, Mr. Burns, you have cancer. My cancer was related to HIV and the HPV virus. I'm a long-term survivor. I have been managing HIV for 27 years. However, I've had, um, I only had 72 hours to wait to get my results from my test to find out what stage of cancer I had. Uh, and in those 72 hours, I was either going to get it together call in a team of support, as I had done to help me manage HIV over the years, or I was going to fold. Uh, Friday and Saturday were rough days for me. Sunday was the day when I began to get some resolution and joy. Um, the joy came because as I looked back over my life, uh, surviving HIV for 27 years, uh, being a little black boy from humble beginnings, uh, at times, I have fit the, uh, the category of some of the folks you're talking about serving. Some of those folk on the lower rungs economically and in some of those impoverished areas. Uh, we were raised by a single mother. I tried to be a good son in my mama's house, tried to be a good student in the schoolhouse, in the church house. My journey even took me to the White House twice. I don't know if I'd be invited there now. <laughs> but that's another story for another time. So I called in my team for support. Uh, Jaquetta and Rama and Amy from Whitman Walker Health, where I uh, serve as an advocate, where I serve as a coordinator for the Patient Advisory Council, and where I am also serve as one of the uh, founding uh, lead mentors. I called in them. And then the folks at the Cats and Can Cancer Center at GW, Dr. Zell Shami, Dr. Ojong, uh, and now Dr. Dushkin. Uh, Elizabeth was my cancer care navigator. The folks at the front desk, the folks in the radiation department, uh, they all were a part of that team. And then amongst my family, chief among that support, was that young woman you saw speak just before me. If it had not been for her some days, I don't know what I would have done. Thank you, darling. Uh, and a special friend, Robert. Those were the folk that helped support me through starting my treatment and completing my treatment. And I am forever grateful. This photo that you see of me uh, was taken four hours after a session of radiation. Uh, I wear the hat because chemo has started to take my hair. Eventually, all that hair was gone. But I got hair now. <laughs> <laughs> um, this photo was part of a promotion uh, that Whitman Walker Health did. Uh, it was a collaboration between staff and clients and volunteers to celebrate partnership. This photo has been uh, on TV. Uh, in the papers, uh, on the buses. It has really had a life of its own. More than anything, when I see this photo, 
I think about uh, there's something about that guy that just did not want to give up. So this is how and why I stand before you today. I did not do this alone. And I thank God that I did not have to. Uh, it was the doctors, the care navigators, the administrative staff, the nurses, and the system. It is such an honor uh, to meet you, Dr. Freeman. I have benefited from your work. My sister has benefited from your work. And all of you, uh, I attended a conference um, a couple months ago, and one of the guys there said, you know, we do this conference every year, and sometimes it gets to be a bit much. You know, who wants to come? They said sometimes it's people who we don't normally see and who we don't normally hear from that helps, gives us a shot in the arm to encourage and inspire us. That's why I'm here. That's what I'd like to do. I'd like to say thank you. My recommendation is that whatever that you need to do, whatever you have to do to keep these kind of systems in place to really help people, they would be much appreciated. I thank you for your time. God bless you.